Hello, and welcome to the next episode of Minecraft Mod Showcase. I believe this is episode 6 now, and I got three great mods for you today. It's going to be a little bit short, but that's because these mods are, they don't take long to explain, but they are very good. Um, so our first mod is Tree Capitator. I like this mod because I really hate cutting trees in Minecraft. So if you don't like to cut trees in Minecraft, you just hit the bottom block with your axe. Now I won't destroy it instantly, but I am in creative mode. So once you destroy that bottom block... Oh, that was weird. Sorry about that. It will destroy the entire tree. Which is very nice because it's a giant pain in the ass to cut trees. So like I said, just a quick little... I mean, that's that's all there is to this mod, but I feel like it adds a lot. It makes it a lot easier for people who don't want to screw around chopping trees for hours on end. And damn it, night time. You know. Curse you, son. Yeah. Alright. So, like I said, that was just that quick mod. Now, you might be able to guess the next mod. And uh, if you look in the lower hand left screen, you can see the different types of armor I'm wearing and the tool I'm holding. Now, this is armor status HUD. So this way you don't have to go into your inventory to see how much how how well your armor is doing like on durability wise instead of going into your survival inventory and looking. And normally there'd be durability there. So if I was getting hit a lot by zombies I could tell if my armor is about to break because that would be quite a problem. And if you hold any one of your items in your toolbar it'll make it appear, tell you how much you have left and if you're holding a tool, it'll show you your durability. So if I put on this diamond gear real quick like, it will change and show me that durability. So as you can see, it's got pretty good durability. And if I pull up my sword, now I know it's durability as well. I feel like this mod is very good, especially if you're playing survival. Especially a survival mode where you're killing lots of stuff and getting attacked a lot. Um, it's also pretty good for like any PvP kind of scenario because you can, you know, see without having to go into your inventory and get distracted while somebody shoots you with arrows and stuff or tries to come at you with a weapon. Okay, so our third and final mod is going to require a bit of jump cutting. So we'll get right to that. Okay, the third and final mod I'm showing you is World Types. It adds 12 new World Types, and I'm going to quickly go through them. And then I'll have something at the end where I say goodbye, because you all like to hear that, I know. Anyway, so this first World Type is Ocean. This wonderful place is Mushroom Island. As you can see, the entire world is mushroom-based, and it's got the mushrooms and everything. This entire world is made up of jungle. Good luck developing here. If you want to bid... <laughs> If you want to build big cities, this is the place for you. You know, assuming you don't want to use super flat. You, you want a little more natural, but you still want it to be flat. This is the plains world type. This is the forest world type. If you like doing survival mode, this would be pretty good, because those creepers can hide around any one of these trees. If you like that plains world type, you might like this world type. It's the ice plains. Better if you're looking for a cold city, I suppose. I like it, though. Next up, we have the Ice Mountains. This one makes a little more sense uh, than Ice Plains, because usually you find lots of snow and ice around mountains. I like this world type, as it has some beautiful mountains that could you could get some creative builds in. Next up, we have a world full of desert. Just imagine hell on earth, and you've got this world type. But it's pretty nice for those who like the desert. And ooh, look, something to look at. Getting distracted in video. Totally not procrastinating to make video longer. No. And finally, we have the Mountains World Type. Now, there's actually a twelfth one. I've only showed you eleven. Uh, the Forest Mountains. But for some reason, I don't have it. I don't know if that was me messing up. I don't think it was. But whatever the case may be, there's also a twelfth one called the Forest Mountains. So this one's similar to Ice Mountains, except you know not icy so it's pretty good for building you could build like some cool sky temples or something some shit like that anyway thanks for watching uh... i know this was like the shortest minecraft video 
ever that I've done, but I feel like it showed off some really good mods. So thanks for watching. Tune in next week. Hopefully I'll have some stuff that's a little bit longer to show you. I might eventually do a complicated mod and just do one mod in the entire episode and just explain it. We'll see. See you later.